channel today I'm gonna be doing a fall makeup look and when I tell y'all I was just waiting for the cold weather to come I love fall so much even though my birthdays in the summertime I just love fall weather and I love the dark lips and the just the cold weather sweaters just you know fall makeup looks like this I just could not wait to do them this video is in collaboration with the beautiful Kanice her channel is the KCK official here on YouTube and she's gonna also do a fall look too so when you're done watching my video make sure you head over to her channel and watch her fall look and after you're watching her fall look watch her story times cuz that girl <laughs> sorry Kenise boo but you you crazy girl your story times be having me rolling but yes yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and leave any video suggestions you have for me down below and I love you guys so much see you in my next video bye okay hey guys welcome back so you guys already know I have a video a full video on my foundation routine so I'm just gonna speed through this part and I will be coming out with a eyebrow routine very soon, so I didn't want to show too much detail on that either. But if you want to see what products I used, how I use them, why I use them, and the name of the products, then I'll have the video to that in the cards. So please check there for my foundation routine. So now to start with the eyes, I'm going to be taking Burnt Orange from the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to go above my crease with that so I'm using that as my transition color. And the brush I'm using is a fluffy shader brush by BH Cosmetics. Now I'm going to take a NYX single shadow in the shade Dance the Tide. It's a bit of a reddish brown and I'm going to deepen my crease with that. take the shade Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance palette and it's a really deep chocolate like dark chocolate shade. I'm going to tap that onto the outer V of my eyes and then blend it out with a larger fluffy brush. But I just want to I just want to show you how I'm placing the shadow first. So I'm just going to tap it there and then blend it out so I don't get any on my mobile lid and I don't really get too much into the crease.
And now I'm actually taking um, Real Gar out of the Modern, Modern Renaissance palette. It's an orange shade and I'm just warming up the shadows. So I'm just taking that above my transition shade. Now I'm going to use a palette I got from Rite Aid for about $7. It's um, by Jessie, Jessie's Girl. And I'm going to take that rose gold. It's more of a copper color. It's more of a copper gold. So I'm going to take that shadow, spray it with a little bit of NYX setting spray, and tap that onto my eyelid. And for $7, you guys, look at that shadow. Like, I love that palette so much. Now I'm going to take NYC's liquid liner in black and I'm going to do wing liner. I'm not perfect at wing liner but I noticed in a lot of my videos I cut out the parts where I'm actually doing wing liner so just for you guys I left this part in the video so yeah I'm still practicing but I thought I'd show you guys how I do mine. same copper gold shade I'm just intensifying it packing a little bit more on if I feel like you know some of the glitter or the shadow got lost so now I'm going to take my trusty Kat Von D shade and light palette and Contour my face with the shade Subconscious. So for my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with Dance the Tides and Cypress Umber on the outer corner just to smoke out my bottom lash line. I'm going to take Vermeer from the Modern Renaissance palette and highlight my inner corner. added a nude eye eyeshadow eyeliner to my waterline I just didn't show it because I make the ugliest face to apply that eyeliner so I you know saved you guys <laughs> but yeah I just applied a nude liner you can apply a black one if you want to I just like to apply a nude liner because it makes my eyes it accentuates my big eyes so yeah so now I'm gonna highlight my face with the glow kit the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit and that glow and I'm going in with bronze gold first Then I'm going to take bubbly and add it on top of that. Then I'm taking bubbly on my nose and my cupid's bow. I'm 
I'm also taking bubbly to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm just blending for to get rid of any harsh lines. Now for the star of the show. <laughs> that was dramatic, but anyway. The star of the show is ColourPop's Limbo, this beautiful chocolate brown. I've had it for a while, but you know, I'm just, I just waited for fall to come back to use it, so now it's like brand new again. And I actually did this so backwards I forgot about blush, but I'm using NYX um, Double Dare and it's an orange blush and I'm just putting down the apples of my cheeks and this is the look you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys know I love you so 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 much. So please don't forget to subscribe, thumb this video up and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much guys. Bye.